Jonathan Lee Bridges, a.k.a. AJLR, and a mass shooting occurred at this school here, the STEM school at Highlands Ranch. Uh, Alex McKinley, Devin Erickson, two individuals who are currently serving a life sentence went into this school May 7th, 2019 and shot multiple people, killing one person. But again, it's a mass shooting. Mass shootings occurring in the Denver area. This is a suburb of Denver. The individuals um, are now spending the rest of their life in prison. They were convicted of multiple charges, but they went into this school here and they shot up the school. Um, we say no to mass shootings. Why is mass shootings occurring a lot in the Denver area, in the Denver suburbs, right? Or high profile crimes that seem like interesting. Is there a connection to any of them? Uh, Columbine, the st STEM shooting, the Chuck E. Cheese shooting on um, uh, December 14th, 1993. Uh, obviously, we know about the John Bonet Ramsey case, uh, James Holmes massacre in Aurora, Chris Watts case, Chris Watts, Shanann Watts. I mean, lots of things are occurring in, in the area, but this is the STEM school. I am here. We say no to mass shootings, we say no to all forms of violence. This needs to end. The violence needs to end. I don't know what type of uh, security me uh, measures this school has taken you know, since this incident happened to prevent these types of things from happening again. I don't know if they got metal detectors there or more uh, security. <sighs> armed teachers? I mean, the, the, the debate is whether there should be armed teachers. What's your thoughts on armed teachers? Um... Is there safety, st safety mechanisms that they're teaching other students to report other students if they see they have a tendency to do violence? Is that a possibility too? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm driving around the school right now. These mass shootings need to stop. You know, um, I'm sure a lot of people at this school were traumatized over what happened. I mean, think about it students and their parents when you you know when parents kiss their children goodbye you know go to school they're expecting them to come back at the end of the day they're, they want them to get a good education not be subjected to crazy violence and and, 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 and shootings you know um, it's an unfortunate incident you know and this is a small this is a charter school this is not a public school this is not a public school inside here, I mean, it's 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 a, it has multiple levels of uh, education. Here's the secondary school entrance right here. Secondary school entrance. So there's multiple entrances to this place, to this school. But we say no to mass shootings. You know, praying for the victims. Hopefully, you know, people that went to the school, whether it's the faculty, staff, even the first responders, and the people that responded. Um, to this incident that are they're not traumatized they're not traumatized and they got a sign there thanking everyone so yeah these mass shootings need to stop and hopefully there's there's a solution to it is is getting rid of guns a solution to stopping these mass shootings what's your thought on guns and you know weapons um you know minors getting access to weapons or young adults getting access to weapons i know that i've read in there's a wikipedia about this particular case uh, lots of um weapons were involved you know um a lot of times we hear that these shooters go into school and do this because they feel they've been bullied or whatnot it's still not an excuse to go hurt innocent people it's not an excuse um to hurt just because you know you're getting bullied or whatever like that, just report it, report it, and and, and keep reporting it to the schools. So I think schools now have get, gotten better where they handle the bullying. You know, if you bring it to the school's attention, those we do hear that sometimes schools turn a blind eye, but you just got to keep reporting and reporting and reporting. You know, no one should be subjected to bullying. You know, and um, the bullies should be held accountable too. The bullies should be held accountable too. So that's my thoughts on this. I am out on the scene. Check my channel out. I post a lot of um, 
true crime content uh, with the with the mass shootings and the school shootings and stuff. I cover it, trying to you know get the perspective. Uh, possibly, I'll reach out to uh, Erickson and um, see if he will you know want an interview if he wants to talk, um, give his side of the ver um, story of why he did it. You know, get into his mind a little bit, see where he was coming from. Um, any victims out there? We pray for you. We pray that you know you will um, overcome this. You know you don't have long-term damages and stuff like that, and hopefully your lives are prosperous and, and and doing good at this time. So, school teachers, God bless you guys. You know I know you guys got a tough task um, handling kids in classrooms and stuff like that. I don't know. Some of these schools sometimes, too, I heard have locks on their doors or whatnot inside the classroom to prevent the mass shooters from going down the halls and alarms and notifications, stuff like that. I, th I think schools have taken better steps, but th they're still going on. The mass shootings are still going on. Obviously, uh, we just seen in uh, Uvalde, Texas at the Robb Elementary School, an individual went in and shot dozens of people and, and you know, fourth and fifth graders. And I, I, I believe, you know, very, very young people, Sandy Hook other shootings at schools you know there's been a lot of school shootings since the columbine april april of 20th 1999 columbine incident mass shootings keep occurring will they stop i don't know maybe we should get back to having you know uh, uh parents that engage in their kids lives more you know sit down with their children and and and, and know about their own children you know, the proliferation of these violent video games might have something to do with it. Mental illness, again, bullying and, and, and that kind of stuff. You know, it all needs to be corrected. It all needs to be looked at. These mass shootings um, weren't really happening before the 90s. They're just starting to happen more and more and more. I mean, you know, people want to blame guns. Um, you know, should a mentally ill person be able to access a, a, a weapon? That's up for debate. You know, I don't think they should, but, you know, uh, a lot of Second Amendment issues out there. You know, a lot of people support the Second Amendment, so they don't want to get rid of guns. You know, and they don't want, like, more measures to make guns more restrictive because they feel it infringes on a Second Amendment. And that's a lot of argument. You know, that's up for debate. You might not, you might feel a certain way, but other few people feel a certain way about that, you know? So... But the discussion needs to be there. A discussion needs to be there about just gun violence with in schools and stuff like that. You know, um, should teachers and faculty be armed? You know, I said that earlier. That's a debate too. You know, if, if you know that teachers and, and and school principals and and faculty are armed, would you be willing to go and find out and and, and go and do something in there, knowing that there's going to be a swift response? So. Um, that's all I really got to say. Pray for the victims. We support all victims out there and, um, everyone be safe and God bless. And hopefully there won't be another shooting anywhere anytime soon. These shootings need to stop. I mean, we're, we're, it's, it's getting bad. So subscribe to my channel, like if you want to see related content and everything like that. I just wanted to show you, you got a perspective of what the STEM um, school looks like. Everybody be safe. I'm Jonathan Lee Riches, aka JLR.